We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live. In the silent darkness of space, a new threat has emerged. It's called 3i Atlas, an object from beyond our solar system, and it's on a direct path to slam into Mars. This isn't a guess, it's a certainty confirmed by four different telescopes. NASA has declared a planetary emergency and the U.S. Space Force is preparing for a violent last-ditch effort to intercept it. To put it mildly, the odds are not in our favor. The story of this cosmic collision and humanity's desperate attempt to stop it is just beginning. Countdown to Catastrophe The initial data was so alarming that it triggered an immediate wider search. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office sent an urgent request to other major observatories. Soon, three more powerful telescopes were pointed at the same patch of sky. The Pan-STARRS telescope, also in Hawaii, the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona, and even the Hubble Space Telescope, which was rerouted from its deep space observations. One by one, they all confirmed the horrifying truth. The data streams, cross-referenced and triple-checked, all painted the same picture. 3i Atlas was on a collision course with Mars. Probability of impact wasn't a mere percentage, it was a certainty. With this fourfold confirmation, NASA had no choice but to act. They issued a red alert, a designation of the highest possible threat level. The thing nobody tells you is that a red alert is more than just a press release. It's an internal protocol that triggers a cascade of emergency actions. Top scientists are pulled from their regular duties. Secure communication lines are opened with government and military agencies, and all available resources are redirected to assess the threat. The news, kept under wraps for the first few critical hours, was a bombshell. This wasn't a threat to a distant, empty world. Mars is home to a fleet of our most advanced robotic explorers, including the Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter. These missions represent billions of dollars and decades of human effort all of which were now in the direct path of an incoming cosmic cannonball estimated to be nearly a mile wide. The most shocking fact is the speed with which the situation escalated. Within hours of the NASA Red Alert, the United States Space Force, the newest branch of the military, was brought into the command structure. Their role shifted from monitoring to active planning. An emergency meeting was called at the highest levels of government. The discussions were no longer about what would happen, but what could be done to stop it. The sheer energy of the impending impact was almost too large to comprehend. An object of that size, traveling at over 100,000 miles per hour, would strike Mars with the force of millions of nuclear weapons. It would carve a crater dozens of miles wide and alter the planet's thin atmosphere for centuries. What many overlooked in the initial panic was the tight timeline. The collision was projected to happen in a matter of months a terrifyingly short window to plan and execute a mission of unprecedented complexity. This wasn't a problem for the next generation. It was a crisis for right now. The pressure to act was immense, and the only path forward seemed to be one of direct, forceful confrontation. The object itself was an even bigger mystery than its path. Anatomy of a Threat 3i Atlas was more than just a threat. It was a complete and utter enigma a ghost from another star system carrying secrets we were not prepared to uncover. Its name, signifying it as only the third confirmed interstellar object, already placed it in an exclusive and mysterious category. But unlike its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov, which were fleeting curiosities, 3i Atlas was an active participant in our solar system's drama. Its most defining characteristic was its speed. At over 100,000 miles per hour, it was moving far too fast to be gravitationally bound to our sun. It was a true interstellar traveler, a rogue object that had likely been journeying through the cold void between stars for millions, if not billions, of years. As telescopes gathered more data, a perplexing picture began to emerge. You see, the object's brightness was fluctuating in a strange, non-uniform way. This suggested it wasn't a simple, roundish asteroid. Instead, it was likely an elongated, irregularly shaped body, tumbling end over end as it sped through space. This tumbling motion made its exact size difficult to pin down, but estimates consistently placed its longest axis at around a mile, or about one and a half kilometers. To put it mildly, an object of this size, 
shaped like an uncontrolled cosmic javelin, presented a nightmare scenario for any interception attempt. A strike on one end might just cause it to spin faster, rather than breaking it apart or deflecting it. But the most shocking fact came from spectroscopic analysis. When astronomers studied the sunlight reflecting off its surface, they found a chemical signature that didn't match anything they expected. It lacked the typical signs of a comet, like a visible coma of gas and dust from melting ice. It wasn't outgassing, which meant it was likely a solid, rocky body. However, the data also hinted at the presence of unusually high concentrations of certain metals, elements that are rare in asteroids from our own solar system. The thing nobody tells you is that the chemical makeup of space rocks tells a story about where they were born. The composition of 3I Atlas suggested it formed in a star system that was far more metal-rich than our own, a place with a completely different history of planetary formation. This alien composition made the threat level skyrocket. A normal porous asteroid might break up relatively easily upon impact, but an object rich in dense metals like iron and nickel would be far more resilient. It would hold together longer, delivering a much more concentrated and devastating blow to the Martian surface. What many overlooked was that every new piece of data made the situation more dire. This wasn't just a rock, it was a cosmic battering ram of unknown strength and density. All the existing models for planetary defense, which were based on the familiar asteroids of our asteroid belt, had to be thrown out the window. The USSF and NASA were facing a completely unknown variable. The mystery deepened when some observers noted faint intermittent radio frequency emissions coming from the object's vicinity. While initially dismissed as background noise or instrument error, the signals persisted, though they lacked any discernible pattern. This added another layer of strangeness to an already bizarre situation. Was it just natural plasma interaction with the solar wind or something else entirely? Many people are crazy about theories involving alien technology, and while mainstream scientists dismiss such speculation, the unusual data kept the question lingering in the back of everyone's mind. For now, they had to treat 3I Atlas as a natural, albeit highly unusual, object. But the truth was, they were preparing to fight an enemy they did not understand, and the weapon they chose would be humanity's most ambitious gamble yet, a violent response. With the clock ticking down to Martian impact, the U.S. Space Force, in collaboration with NASA's and a coalition of international partners, initiated a mission of breathtaking audacity, the Guardian Initiative. The name was chosen to reflect its purpose, to act as a protector of humanity's interests in space, even on another world. The core of the plan was not a gentle nudge, but a violent interception. You see, the immense speed and unknown density of 3I Atlas made traditional deflection methods, like a gravity tractor or a gentle push, completely unworkable. The only viable option was to meet force with overwhelming force. The mission called for the rapid launch of three separate spacecraft, each a weapon in its own right, designed for a single brutal purpose, to break the intruder apart. The first stage of the initiative was the launch of a high-speed reconnaissance probe named Pathfinder. This wasn't just a camera, it was a sophisticated sensor platform powered by an advanced ion engine to give it the incredible acceleration needed to catch up with 3I Atlas. Its mission was to fly past the object at close range, mapping its surface with high-resolution radar, analyzing its composition with a suite of spectrometers, and most critically, identifying any structural weaknesses. The data it would gather in its brief flyby would be relayed back to Earth in real time, providing the final targeting information for the two impactors following close behind. The thing nobody tells you is that a mission like this normally takes years to plan. The Guardian Initiative had to go from concept to launch in a matter of weeks. Following Pathfinder were the two main components of the interception, a pair of kinetic impactors named Hammer 1 and Hammer 2. These were not delicate scientific instruments. Each was essentially a 10-ton projectile, a dense mass of tungsten and titanium with a simple but powerful guidance system and a small rocket motor for final course corrections. Their design was stripped down for a single purpose, to deliver the maximum possible kinetic energy upon impact. 
Launched on the most powerful rockets available, they were placed on an intercept course that would allow them to hit three I Atlas in rapid succession. What many overlooked was the sheer violence of this plan. This wasn't an attempt to study the object, it was an attempt to obliterate it. The plan was for Hammer 1 to strike first. Based on the data from Pathfinder, it would target the object's center of mass, aiming to create a massive fracture and destabilize its tumbling rotation. Then just minutes later, Hammer 2 would strike the same weakened area, exploiting the damage from the first impact to shatter the object into as many smaller fragments as possible. The hope was that these smaller pieces, now on slightly altered trajectories, would either miss Mars entirely or be small enough to burn up harmlessly in its thin atmosphere. The most shocking fact is that the success of this cosmic one-two punch depended on a level of targeting precision never before achieved over millions of miles of space. Of course, the risks were enormous. A failed interception could make things worse. If the impacts only managed to break 3i Atlas into a few large chunks, it would create a cosmic shotgun blast, peppering Mars with multiple devastating impacts instead of just one. There was also the risk that the impacts could send fragments on a new trajectory that might, in the long term, pose a threat to Earth or other assets in the solar system. Every possible outcome was run through thousands of supercomputer simulations, but in the end, it was a calculated risk. The certainty of a catastrophic impact on Mars outweighed the potential dangers of a forceful intervention. And you can see this everywhere that sometimes the most dangerous path is the only one available. The fate of Mars and our future there now depended on this single violent encounter. Defending a new frontier. The entire Guardian initiative was a high stakes gamble and the chips on the table were nothing less than the future of Mars. The red planet, once a symbol of distant, peaceful exploration, had suddenly become the front line in humanity's first interstellar conflict. The consequences of failure were almost too grim to contemplate. A full, unimpeded impact by 3i Atlas would be an extinction-level event for any life that might exist there and a devastating blow to our own future ambitions. The thing nobody tells you is that Mars is more than just a destination. It's a backup drive for humanity, a second chance in a vast and sometimes hostile universe. A catastrophic impact would set that dream back by centuries, if not forever. The immediate casualties of a failed interception would be our robotic emissaries. NASA's Perseverance rover searching for ancient signs of life in Jezero Crater and the Ingenuity helicopter proving powered flight on another world would be obliterated either by the direct impact or the resulting global dust storm. The same fate would await other active missions from the European Space Agency in China. What many overlooked is that these machines are more than just robots. They are extensions of our senses, our eyes and ears on another world. Losing them would be like going blind and deaf in a place we are just beginning to understand. Years of scientific progress and billions of dollars of investment would be turned to dust in a matter of moments. You see, the scientific loss would extend far beyond the robots themselves. A massive impact would fundamentally and permanently alter the Martian landscape. It would vaporize any subsurface water ice in the impact zone, creating a temporary chaotic atmosphere of steam and dust. It would also potentially melt large sections of the polar ice caps, releasing vast amounts of carbon dioxide and water vapor. While this sounds dramatic, it would make studying Mars' true climate history almost impossible for future generations. The most shocking fact is that the impact would effectively erase the very geological and chemical clues that scientists are searching for to understand if Mars was once a habitable, Earth-like world. It would be like burning a priceless ancient library just as we were learning to read its language. The potential for contamination was another grave concern. 3i Atlas was an object from another star system carrying with it the unique chemistry of its birthplace. A violent impact would scatter this alien material across the Martian surface. While the chance of it carrying any form of life was incredibly remote, it would introduce a massive amount of non-native organic and inorganic compounds. The threat of 3i Atlas has forced us to confront our place in the universe. Are we destined to be victims of cosmic chance or can we become guardians of our solar system? Like and subscribe for more.